We are going to try, I say saving, a very particular way of going in Shadow Curse lands that I haven't actually tried before. You have my attention. Which is where anyone who has a light source My will guide me. puts on a light source. Good, Lord. Because I know he's he's a sword guy, but we're gonna packed weapon the torch so that he can at least hit someone with it in a way Magic that's helpful. Together. But he can switch to cantrips if he has to. Lazelle, if she has to put her sword away, is going to be in a tough spot. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Uh, Shadowheart has a light source built in. Ooh! I love the way you can see the curse coming in. Might be useful. Walk in the way of dawn, for the thunder cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. What's next? This reminds me. Why would I ever? Best Just in case. Okay, like, Never wanted the easy path. If it gets bad. I have to. Had some close calls already. There could be even tougher days ahead. Cheer up. It might be all downhill from here. Meaning things will start becoming easier for us? Or our situation will deteriorate from here? Exactly. Hello. <laughs> I don't love this guy. No one stopped me yet. Something's on my mind. <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I, indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Ill grace. I think we have to 
Ale. <laughs> oh, for the love of... Uh, <laughs> well, this way, then. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Mm. Mm. Yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elf Turian that was. I don't have any. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Yeah, right. Um, you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. The long-awaited question. Now, if you please, Elminster, for the too long-awaited answer. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider she considers to be forgiveness. Mistrone is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. He says to the boss bond. Do not discount yourself. And by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. You know what it, it threatens is. all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. Elevating. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gail, with its destruction. It is Mistress belief that only you can. The all. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will burn it from this world. I want to click this thing is she's a boss. No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. It brings me 
no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistress Will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gael himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, we offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted. The absolute will be gone, and I along with it. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. No. Oh. Was that Gail's granddad? I love you. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> all right. Must have had something important to say to Gail if he came all this way. Good news, I hope. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Whoa, now, he's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra? <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. What's he going to do? <laughs> Fuck me. There's devotion and then there's stupidity. If the god of magic can't handle this without sacrificing Gale, she's no god at all. Ah, uh, great. <sighs> Poor Gale. He must be in bits after hearing that. <sighs> I'll distract him. 
tell him I haven't read a book since secondary school. Watch his face melt off. <laughs> I love you. Have I mentioned that I love you? I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. I really, I, sometimes I really can't tell how much he likes Gale or not. But dear god, I do think the Bloodwave people might be stupid. <laughs> or at least, like, got their, lost in the sauce. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster had more optimistic. Listen, I might invoke the triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. That's to me, difficult. it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. actually expects Gale to just sacrifice himself like that. Waste of a fine mind. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Good. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. She's so prosper. Mistress concerned only for herself. <sighs> Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. This is why Lizelle's response is my favorite. She's the only one who goes, actually fuck the whole concept, the whole conceit, this is bullshit. Also, she is the one who's successfully points out that Mistra is making um, making a call that doesn't actually benefit anyone except for her. What's hiding here? Poor bird. adjusting to this new life it's when you use words like a god that i remember you're actually two centuries old and it's when you think a god is an impressive word that i remember you're just a child be less of a twit i love you stop it <laughs> no that's I'm, i've never come this way and this is the only way this this triggers, so I'm very happy, actually. <laughs> Grumpy. Beware of the shadows. You don't fucking say it. Look, there's Tirsu on the. Where am I? What's going on?
Here we go. Yes, yes, game, I know this. Can you feel it? The shadows gnaw at us. Granted. Uh, are you the true soul? Yankee crash and be rid of these tadpoles. Now we stalk forgotten lands haunted by darkness. Do you feel that? I never felt so cold. And that's me. This place will swallow us whole if we let it. Stick close to Mama Kay. Mm hmm. Prowling in the shadows, about to strike. Sorry, do you want something? Or just looking for a distraction? A little bit of both, actually, but, um. Hold close to the light and keep the shadows. I've never seen such a concentration of shadow magic. We must forge on, but. Carefully. It will corrupt any who lack the power to control it. Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, sometimes I forget who I'm traveling with. It takes some getting used to walking amongst peers again. Aww. If I inflicted the shadows on this land was no ordinary spell cast. <laughs> certainly had no fear of Mistress Punishment for doing so. Interesting question. Technically, of course I could dabble in such practices. I've yet to find a form of magic I'm not <coughs> born naturally wielding. As for whether I should wield it, I would rather depend on the circumstances and how closely I felt Mistra was watching. Now, I think it's time we moved on to lighter subjects, for we too are lost to the darkness. Was there anything else? Oh. Oh. Yes. She expects those who do so honestly, with respect for its potential to destroy, as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She 
would last such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. The truth is I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly handling immortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. To take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have, and only I can. Uh, so one of the differences between the good and evil gods in D&D lore is how much they will get involved. So the Baal spawn doesn't, I mean, she doesn't remember much of anything, but Baal gets involved. That's why she exists. Baal is using her to get around to Ao and interfering in ways he's not supposed as opposed to Mistra, who's trying very, very hard to follow the rules, while also very much meddling via Chosen and Gale and all that shit. Which raises some interesting questions about how daily are. <laughs> uh, but, you know. And, um... This place... There's a power in these shadows, I can sense it. It's ancient, familiar. Hey. It's real quick. Who else can take out a Starion, sweetheart, don't wander. Anything else? Eight. Jesus Christ, I don't Hey. Reminds me. I have one of them? Oh Christ. Um uh, Um It'll be fine. I have such a headache. Being careful. Oh wait, I'm supposed to talk to that album. Seems like a good moment to talk. Don't stick about. Her torch will keep you safe. More or less. Oh, not. I'll keep an eye for other true souls and then head to camp. Can't get out of here fast enough. Waiting for an exclamation point at a heart. I can feel the shadows. There she They don't seem to be harming me. The 
Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. That's right. Um, I remember who the other person who had uh, what the other thing. Mara's locket. What now? That blood? No, never mind. And I need to take just a quick pause. Oh. We're in my favorite part of the game now. <laughs> 